My cross of gold speech is considered to be either the most famous speech of American history or certainly top 10 by most estimates. At the age of 36, I was given the presidential nomination of the Democratic Party. My name is William Jennings Bryan. Okay, what lessons are we to learn from Bryan? Now, he never became president, although he was nominated several times and was a larger-than-life character on the American scene for decades. But I want to look at the beginning there. Getting a major party nomination at age 36, that has not happened before or since. Why did he get the nomination? It was, I would contend, purely because of his ability to speak well. People like to talk about politicians, how they have the right positions, wealth, connections, looks, charm, ideology, historical confluences, a lot of different factors, but something that is often overlooked is pure public speaking ability. Whether you're talking about the 18th century, 19th century, or in more recent times, Barack, Barack Obama, I believe, got the 2008 presidential nomination almost exclusively because of his speech at the 2000 for convention. That's what thrust him on the national scene. So if you aspire to political greatness, if you aspire to leadership in any organization, look at someone like William Jennings Bryan. He had a speech. He honed it, refined it, gave it thousands, possibly <laughs> many thousands of times. He got better and better at it. He honed his speaking skills and he was seen as a leader and rewarded quite early in life.